If you have wooden painted cabinets, odds are this issue might look familiar, mainly around the sink area because this is all due to water damage, a universal enemy to beautiful painted cabinets. Many will tell you that once your cabinets get like this, it's game over, but I'm going to show you how I turn this disaster into a masterpiece. This case is pretty severe, but I have fixed worse. In this scenario, you'll notice the damage is concentrated on the center panel, but the frame directly next to it is not having this issue. The frame is solid wood, which typically holds up much better to water than the center panel does, which is made of MDF. First things first, we always start every repair with a clean surface. Now I like to use this plant-based cabinet cleaner. It does a great job at removing all the food and dirt, and when combined with a scrub brush, it makes cleaning a breeze. Here's a side-by-side -side example of just how great it works, not leaving any residues behind, leaving a really clean surface. You can find it on Amazon. The link is in the description below. MDF stands for medium density fiberboard, and essentially all it is is little wood fibers, kind of like sawdust a little bit, pressed together and held together with a bunch of glue. Now there's a lot of pros and cons to this, and there's a lot of places where you should and shouldn't use it, but that's a debate for a whole nother video at different time. Anyway, the first thing I'm doing here is using a razor blade to scrape off the big blistering parts, get all the majority of the big stuff out of there without scraping into the MDF because I don't want to create a dip inside the MDF panel. I want it to be nice and smooth. Making it as flush as possible is really important here. You really only get one shot. There's only so much you could do with the razor blade. So I'm going to take this little metal tool, flatten out what's there, and then I follow along with this special CA glue. It's extremely thin, thinner than water, also very toxic. I always wear a respirator when using this, but the MDF soaks it up faster than it could even soak up water. And once it comes in contact with each other, it hardens like a rock, making the MDF sandable. And we need to be able to sand to get it as smooth as possible. Otherwise, without the glue, it'd be like trying to sand a wet pile of sawdust. My goal here is just to make this as smooth and as flush and level as possible, but you'll notice that I'm going back around adding more glue and sanding and more glue and sanding. That's because as you sand, you sand off that layer of glue, exposing more raw MDF, and really we need it covered with the glue to keep it hard. Otherwise, it's just not sandable. So after a few rounds of doing that, I get it to the point where I'm pretty happy with. Repairing the damage is one thing, but if we could help prevent this from happening again, why wouldn't we? So what I'm doing here is I take a thicker glue and it doesn't run and seep into the MDF as well. Basically where you put is where it stays. So I'm bridging over the seam between the center panel and the frame, creating a barrier. This way water can't run in there as easily. It's gonna help it hold up a lot better. Now in a perfect world, you really want the center panel to be able to move freely inside the frame, but these aren't perfect cabinets, okay? They're not in great shape and they're already heavily damaged. So it no longer has the opportunity to move and shift around, but it's gonna prevent water from getting down there in the future. So now we're ready to spray. So first thing we're gonna do is mask off the frame of the door because there's no need to paint the entire thing. And I'm putting the tape right over the edge of the glaze line, makes touch up a lot easier later on. So I'll clean up this big mess. First thing we do is hit with the primer. We're gonna do a couple coats of primer, really build up that area, sanding in between. This way it smoothens out even more. Now, if I had the opportunity to do this door in the shop, then I'd be doing a lot more coats of primering and sanding in between just to build up that finish, making it super smooth, using machines to sand, getting it absolutely perfect. But to do it on site in a house and have to touch up the entire rest of the kitchen, this is as good as it's gonna get. We'll fast forward here to after the primer is all dried and sanded. And then it's just time for the top coat. So we do a couple coats of the paint color. And after giving that some good time to dry, we could break down the tape and then it's time for the finishing touch. We're just gonna go over it with a nice thin glaze line using a little artist brush to get that perfect line. Being down low directly on top of the door, you might be able to see a little bit of the outline and the camera picks up more than what you could see in person. And plus standing up normal, looking around, you would never even know this damage was there. And here's a reminder of what we started with. I'd say for an in-house repair on site and only about a half hour's worth of work, pretty good. 